Merry Christmas, and welcome to this tutorial for After Effects. Today we're going to be creating a snow globe. We are going to be animating it in After Effects. The design was already created and I downloaded it on uh, FreePix. We shall be animating it with several different tools. We will be using Newton to create something dynamic, something that moves. We'll also use Connect Layers Pro, Pastiche, and finally just a little bit of Dweck. Alright, let's get into it. So here we have our project. Uh, for the size I had both the length and the width at 1080. Nice and simple. If we head down to our layers you can see that we've got quite a few. The first is the tinsel. After this, we have our uh, ball balls, which um, we're going to be placing ourselves along the tree. After this, we have our star, which is just going to sit on top of our tree. Then we have uh, our Christmas tree itself, which has been broken up into separate parts. So in the end, we're going to see all of this, including the ball balls. Finally, we have the globe, which is uh, transparent, the uh, snow, and the uh, presents, the layer of presents. After this, we have our um, cache, and we'll wait to see how we're going to use these. We're going to use these in uh, different ways. Now, something important is that with all of this, I've already animated my globe. Uh, with the keys in their correct position and correct orientation. And that gives us this little animation. And uh, what I've done here is only the animation for the globe. Okay, we're gonna start right away here with the thing that's probably the easiest. That's the animation of our Christmas tree. For this, I'm going to grab everything down here that's uh, part of my tree, uh, including the star, and I'm going to put these into a new file, and we're going to call it uh, uh, tree. So here we've got our tree, but it's missing something. It's missing the animation. So I'm going to grab my globe and place it right here. So my tree needs to be animated. And to do this, uh, I'm going to need to rely on the globe, the animation of the globe. And we'll say that the uh, the trunk of the tree, the, the bottom layer of the tree, will guide and direct my tree. So I'm going to attach this layer to my uh, tree, and then I can hide the globe away. Then from here, I can animate my tree in Newton. So I open my composition bar. Click on Newton 3. So uh, something the, that I've done, something that now I use all the time, is that I've created some hotkeys. So to do that, you want to go into Edit, find your keyboard shortcuts. Then what I decided to do was um, to uh, assign my F5 key to uh, Newton. So to do this, you want to click on your search bar and type uh, Newton just here. And if you've got something here, you can just get rid of it. Then you want to go ahead and uh, just drag and drop Newton onto the F5 key. And now if I go back to my composition and I press on, uh, press on F5, Newton will launch and uh, we're uh, ready to go. Okay, so what's going on here? If I uh, click on play, it'll just drop. So what I would like to have is to have all of my borders uh, well-defined. I want to have that on all my elements, but mainly the one on the bottom. What I would really like is to be able to have all my elements clearly visible in Newton. So what I am going to do is create a mask that's going to be uh, much better sized. Alright, that looks pretty good. 
from here, I'm going to put all of this into Newton. I think that'll be uh, much better. So this bottom object is going to be the base of my tree. And um, it's uh, controlled by my globe. Alright, so that it can be truly controlled by my globe's um, movements, I need to change its type to kinematic. So this is now After Effects that's going to control that object. And if I click play down here, we'll see that this layer is moving the same as the globe, and in the end you'll see that it will become a dynamic object again, and will fall off the screen. So what I would like is for, at the end of that clip, for the object to stay fixed. So we're going to go back into After Effects, go to the globe layer, and copy the final movement, the stop, and add it to my uh, tree layer. Okay, back into Newton. So if we watch again, we should hopefully see that at the end of the animation, the object should rest still. Great. We're now gonna get ourselves to having a fully moving tree. And to have the whole tree move, and uh, not just the base, we're going to take an example from Newton's demos. There's something in here that I think will work great for the tree. We'll watch it first, and then I'll explain exactly what it's going to do for us. So, we're going to create objects that move and rotate in a line together with uh, pivot joints. So, I'm just going to select all my objects, then simply create a line of pivots uh, between them. We don't see the color too well uh, with the uh, white, so I'll just change the color of the objects to a uh, greeny yellow. Kind of like the Christmas tree. <laughs> so here we have created the little joints between um, the uh, base, the middle, the top, and um, also the star. And from here I need to create the axes for these, uh, for these objects. So I'm going to select my joint and I'm actually gonna move my uh, anchor points. So uh, if you remember the base of my middle object as you can see is um, really low in the tree. Actually it's about halfway through my base. We're gonna go back into Newton and I'm gonna adjust the anchor points with my uh, with my pivot points using the anchor tool. This one here is just going to go down to where I see the end of my middle layer. Just down uh, here. The same for this one here. He's just going to go down a touch. Then my star is just going to go up a tiny bit to about here. So here I now have a chain of elements that will allow them all to move on axes. And if I click play, what does it give us? Okay, so if you see just here, you can see it shifts slightly. Oh, what's missing here is I've got the joints able to collide. And uh, this isn't necessary, they don't need to collide, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, so that's a little annoying. Uh, we're going to fix that. Okay, so to fix that, we're going to have to create some limits for the uh, for the rotation of the axes. So for the lower limit, we'll set that at negative 30 degrees. And then the same thing for the top limit, but this time positive 30. What does that give us? So that's okay, but we've just got something a little bit shaky. And I think we can all agree that we want it a little more rigid. I mean, what kind of tree is that bendy? So what we're going to do here is just add a little series of distance joints. Except we're going to do something a little bit different. Our objects aren't going to be aligned. The center is going to be slightly off in order to give a certain stiffness uh, to the objects, uh, to the tree. For example, we'll do this. Okay, so what's interesting is that it doesn't move. 
same as before, I'll get rid of Collide. And if I change the tension, we can see that it's uh, started to move again. So what I'm going to do is select all my objects. And uh, with the shortcut F, we can select all of the joints at the same time and change the tension for all of them at once. Okay, that's better. Maybe, maybe just a little bit more tension. Maybe a little less. I'm gonna use some sub-steps so that I can have a more precise animation because uh, here you can see that the movements are super quick. That's great, but the tree's wiggling a bit too much at the end. We can fix that with some damping, which is gonna tighten up the elasticity of the tree when it's, uh, when it isn't being shaken. Maybe a little too much. You're gonna have to play with this a little bit yourselves. Just uh, test it out, the damping, the tension. Make sure it's something you like. I think that's good. Great. Uh, now that I'm satisfied with my animation, I'm gonna export it so it can be sent through to After Effect. So this is Tree Clean, because there's no animation, and Tree Sim, because it's got the simulation. And now that we have the tree, what does this give us? Okay, not bad. Uh, let's see what this gives us all together with the, with the snow globe. Wait, what am I doing? I need to add this instead of tree clean to uh, redo the animation. Okay, we're starting to have a good result.